Welcome back to Breath of the Wild. I am having an exceptionally bad day. Hooray. <laughs> uh, so, what's going on here is that I just finished recording for an entire episode and then the same problem happened again from before where we lose the entire recording. So that's frustrating. So that's gone. Uh, I did the entire remaining quest for the, uh, the, the tablets. That's gone. Uh, the reward was a diamond, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, the tablets are just little pieces of history, most of which we already had found. Importantly, the guy that tells you to do the quest in the first place has a bunch of separate quests to, do, uh, to give you each individual, like, p fragment of history. Uh, he'll tell you, uh, each, each individual thing about, like, I'm sorry, I completely lost, ugh, I lost my train of thought because I'm frustrated. He will give you a clue about where a tablet is you haven't found yet. He'll tell you one at random, but he'll also tell you how many you haven't found. So, since he tells you how many you haven't found, I could spam the button until he gave me enough clues that matched the number he said I hadn't found, and then I just wrote them all down. They were near the peak of Rudo Mountain, southeastern cliff of Upland Zorana, eastern grove of Zodobon Highlands, and... A, at the mountain trail west of Rutala Dam, so... Rutala Dam, so like one of them was right... Is that the Rutala Dam? No. One of them was right here. One of them was right, like, here-ish. One of them was right here-ish. And one of them was, like, under the cliff over here. So I got all those ones. This is the most interesting one, because this is the one that says... This explains the story behind these tablets. Apparently, uh, originally, the king commissioned one of them. And instead of giving... Instead of doing one, he's like, well, this is way too much story. So he decided to make it into, like, seven different inscriptions instead. But then there wasn't... So he had to find space for them. That's why they're scattered everywhere. Uh, then he was like, well, I'm going to be nice. And I'm going to make one for the king and one for the prince. So he made two more. That took it to nine. Then he put... Then this one right here was actually his inscription. And it was autobiographical about making that. So it was explaining all that. And he's like, it's like, well, I deserve an inscription for my heroic efforts. Because I am so humble. He's not humble. Uh, all I've got to do is remember to sign all of these with my name. And of course, as far as we can tell, his names aren't... His name's not on any of them, so he made that mistake. I'm at Total Lake because this is where I ended up, ultimately. And this thing is what I found. There's some kind of, There's a chest down here. I'm just going to try to think... Get past the, uh, hardships of the day. Feels like everything's going wrong. Hey, it's a Zora Helm. Zora headgear made from dragon scales. Increases swimming speed and allows you to use spin attack. There we go. Look at all the entire Zora set now. And I look like a ridiculous fish person. So there's that. Maybe they'll think I'm them now. <laughs> it's a cool set overall. Well, it does look like strange like a wetsuit, basically. I kind of want to get away from this place. So I'm going to head over to Death Mountain instead just to get away from the recent tragedies. In addition, uh, the expan the first expansion just came out. Uh, I tried to get it. Maybe I'll have it next recording session, but I w haven't been able to get it now. Uh, sorry, it's late, because I'm trying to make up for the fact that I lost the recording, so I'm trying to record another episode here. Uh, I tried to do my credit card information, and none it wouldn't accept my card for some reason. That happened with the Wii U and the Wii. Wait, no, maybe not the Wii. I don't remember even using a Wii. It happened with the Wii U also. Like, I just cannot get Nintendo to accept my payment information, even though Xbox and PlayStation and Steam all do it. Then I went to stores nearby, and they all have... They have gift cards for Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, Steam, and even Facebook, and other, lo and other stuff, and League of Legends. But they don't have uh, codes for uh, PlayStation... Uh, they don't have codes for the Nintendo eShop. So I literally can't figure out how to buy the expansion right now. Uh, that'll be a work in progress. Maybe I can download a code, buy a code from Amazon or something, or maybe I can make a trip to go find, go make a longer trip down to a GameStop or something like that. But for now, that's gonna have to wait. All right, let's start off at Elden Tower. I'm gonna try to start going up Death Mountain if, if I can. Now that I've got the full Zora set in particular, and I finished that one mission in progress, so... That was basically the entire last mission, uh, episode, as I spent the entire time tracking down the four... ...locations that were mentioned in clues. Okay, let's... ...see if we can get... 
down from this mountain, go check out Lava Land, essentially. And try to figure out how to get to the Goron area. Logical path is to go up the road and see if I can get up that way. This does go by the lava area. I don't know if it's safe around here if I go down the surface. Definitely fire down there. Uh, just going to the road itself is already too far. Oh no. Okay, that's a mistake. We're gonna go down here now. <laughs> We're gonna try a lower point on the road. That was a mistake. I don't remember getting that tower that well. I guess the fact that it's high up in the air might have saved me. But, uh... I, uh... I, I thought that since I had the tower there, maybe it was safe to teleport there, and it was definitely not. But yeah, right now I'm, uh... A little salty about losing footage, so I kind of just don't want to be around the Zora era area for a bit. So I'm gonna move, just gonna move on to a new location and be happy for a bit and check out this new look. Uh, that's Dead End Cave. I'm gonna see if I can find my way to this, if this dang mystery that we've never figured out this whole time, which is how the hell to survive in Lava Land. See, I guess I'm gonna want to... We're not gonna find waterfalls around here. I'll switch to you guys, and my pants might as well be... We could try heat resistant. Yeah, hopefully this will never happen again, the lost footage thing, but, uh, I, I don't know what's causing it. I can't try to diagnose it, I have no idea what's going on. It's never happened ever, in years, in any situation ever, period, except twice now with Zelda. I'm like, why is that happening? I assume it's the Switch, on some level. I don't know how it could be the Switch, but apparently the Switch might be able to lose footage for me. Which is, oh, that's, wow, that's a big crash. Which is a terrifying idea to think about, because I, uh... If this happens, like, when I beat the game, then I'll just not have a finale, for example. Which is terrifying. Ah, uh, it's such a specific problem. This is almost never possible, because most games have proper save systems. But this this auto-saving is so constant that I can't do much about it. The only other situation I think it could happen in is, uh, Dark Souls? And that's about it. But it's never- this is a problem that's never come up on PC, so I've never had to be this paranoid about it going wrong. Until just now. And if once was a freak accident, twice I'm like, oh no, now I'm paranoid. I mean, I never really stopped being paranoid after the first time, necessarily. Every time I record this. But now I'm extra paranoid that it's gonna go wrong again when I least want to. Howdy. That's not very nice. Okay, maybe I should have some of my damage resistance stuff equipped. Maybe something guardian-y. Welcome to hell! I've got a lot of bad news for you. Oh. There we go, that's more what I was going for. Are you blowed up? I get you? I get you? I get? Yeah, I got you. Oh, I deleted on accident, whoops. I already had it, thankfully, but I was, uh... I was double-checking to see if I had the exact version of him or not, but then at the, the, after I took the photo and it was... Not new, I figured I'd still try saving it, and I reflexively did the wrong thing. Whoops. But yeah, here's hoping it never happens again a single time in the rest of the playthrough, where I lose footage. But, it's happened twice with within a month of each other now, after not happening for like three months. So I don't know what changed, that's terrifying. <laughs> Heal me, hot spring. Healing hot springs with such proximity to, like, straight-up murder areas, basically. Is that a...? Ah. 
Ja, ha, ha. Yep. All right, closer, I guess. Yep. Ja, ha, ha. Oh, well, that's the other thing that happened. Because I was searching around the landscape looking for those kinds of things, uh, I found, like, five or six Koroks, I think. Because I was looking for the tablets, or the histories, or whatever we're going to call them. Uh, that made it that made it fairly easy to find a bunch of uh, a bunch of Korok seeds everywhere because you're poking around these relatively nondescript chunks of map, and since they're kind of unimportant-ish pieces of map, they're just covered and covered in that stuff. Did I? Oh, I'm an idiot. They're both they're both helms, dummy. Of course they are. Whoop! That was silly. Let's go full anti-fire mode, even though, of course, after the first after the first two, it doesn't even affect anything. And it's anti-heat, not anti-fire. Uh... Oh! There we go. Give me your stuff! Come on by! Yeah! something horrible about that, right? Just small, tiny, baseball-shaped creature clubbed out of the air by melee weapon. It's like, oh, what have I done? I'd feel more bad if they didn't look so much like those monster, those monster, like, spy bat things from, uh, from, uh, Dark Crystal. Hello. Goodbye. There we go. That was terrifying. <laughs> having the melee swing miss, then having it, a burning thing jump at me. I'm like, no, I don't really want to play this game anymore. No, thank you. It's a lot of flaming bats. I should probably be concerned about that. Also, I should see if I photographed them yet. I have. There you go. Howdy. How do you do? Wow, all three of them. That went exactly according to plan. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. We doing this? We doing this? All right. Thanks for coming by yet again. All right. Main goal, find fire resistant stuff. I figure taking the road into dangerous fire zone may lead to some NPC somewhere who provides such a service or like a hut maybe that's like the like the equivalent of snowshoes except for fire nightmare land. That might be a reasonable approach. Otherwise, who knows? I'm far enough along. Oh, I'm far enough along that if I can't, if I can't seem to find it, I may have to look it up. Just because I'm doing a series that people are supposed to watch, and I need to move forward at some point, and I still have never. I feel like I've explored the entire world at this point, and still never found uh, somebody who gives you this item, this fire resistant stuff. Don't I have something kind of crappy in my inventory? Actually, yeah, you aren't you gonna break soon? You you do have increased durability, but you probably will still break soon. I've used you before. Eh, we'll see. Either way, this is some kind of new, like, interesting weapon. We, I've found it before, but that's it. Goranara since used recycled material to forge this weapon. The tip is made from an old excavation bore, which affords an unmatched piercing capabilities. Unmatched piercing capabilities. Doesn't even look pointy. Does it get pointy when I stab with it? It honestly doesn't seem very piercy. I expect piercy items to be stabby looking. Ooh. 
Goron City ahead. Eight level star. Non Gorons use extreme caution. Okay, I might be in some trouble then. Maybe I should go back down the path again. Maybe I've already gone too far somehow. Or maybe there'll be a dude like right here. Oh my goodness. That's not a good sign. How about you? Oh yeah, it doesn't give a crap. Does not give a single dang damn crap. Are you colder over here? There's like water. I mean, I can't go this way anymore, so I have two options. I can either go over to see if I can fly over to the watery area and see if that's like a colder zone that's somehow safe and maybe they sell that stuff there. Or two, I need to go back to where I started, but then go downhill and go and look around for some kind of vendor or something. I'm really surprised I've gone this far without finding this thing. Because, like, we are 60 plus hours into this game that could have easily been beaten in significantly less time. And I still don't have a way of dealing with this problem. Yeah, there's hot springs over there. That might be something I can go past. Oh, that's not- a, that doesn't bode well, I gotta say that. I'm gonna start burning to death now. Yep, there it goes. Owie. 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 If- assuming I don't burn in the hot spring itself, that'll hopefully heal me. Ah. Uh, heal me, hot spring. Alright. Kind of raises new questions, though. This seems like not the best path to take if it's surrounded by death lo death fire. My Lizal bow broke. Oh, because it was... Because it's wood. And I, had a, I had a wood weapon equipped. Whoops. Yeah, that would do it. Healing takes a while, huh? Alright, well the good news is this doesn't kill me. The bad news is... Really doesn't solve my problem. There's Goron Hot Springs up there. I immediately start burning to death the moment I leave the water. Holy crap. That's, uh... Alarming. Ooh, a diamond. It's kind of a big deal. Is there not an NPC around here, or what? Yeah, this bodes exceptionally poorly for me. I think I am in trouble. Oh wow, I am constantly on the fringe of burning to death here. It's not going over to burning me now, though. Oh, now it is. Oh no. Whew. Can I crouch in it? I guess maybe it's not deep enough here. It's not even going into happy water mode. There we go. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta somewhat submerge yourself to even get into happy water mode. There's the Goron Hot Springs. I don't know, with, with climbing gear I might be able to conceivably get up there, but this is like a bad idea. Surely this is not how I'm supposed to do this. Oh well! No, it's going for Revali's Gale, whoops. Revali's Gale is ready! Oh, this is not going to work at all. Oh. Oh, I think what's going on there... When... Ow. Ow. When I'm in that moment where I'm like in... Uh, ow. When my meter's fully red but I'm not on fire yet, I think it's it might be because I am in a... Oh, Revali Scales run out. That's great. I think it might be because I'm still wet. Which is great, except for the part where I stop being wet eventually. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Oh, maybe if I go inside. Is it safe in here? What? People's houses are always sheltered. You have fires burning here? Hey, there's a shrine here. <laughs> Yay, a shrine. There's a shrine here. Hooray. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. All I want to do is dig. 
I won't stop till I find the secret. What am I digging for? I told you, it's a secret. Okay, I'm burning to death. Bye bye. Oh uh, no. Life is a hurricane. <laughs> More like a flame tornado, really. I should not be making. I should not be brute forcing this at all. But once I started, I couldn't stop. Like, I felt like I had to keep going. <laughs> no real reason. I mean, I got some dumb pieces of meat that I can just cook and have cooked in the past. So I can make this work for a little while. If I really want to. So that's amusing to me. Maybe they sell flame retardant stuff inside the flame village. That's the dumbest part about this plan, is that that's like one place they're likely to not be selling it. Ooh, I'm almost there. Like, it's exceptionally unlikely that, like, the town itself sells the stuff, because you have to get the stuff before you get in. Although, that said, uh, the Rio Village sold cold stuff in it, so maybe... It's not completely insane, because sometimes the towns sell variations of what's in- Oh, God. What was that sound? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Oh, is that... Uh, f whatever we're calling this particular garden, I don't remember its name. Oh, I should have named that, by the way. There's a, there's a star over here. I believe that's where it was. That cave has a star. There's a star over here, too. Ooh, if I find the shrine, not only can I rest in the shrine for a moment, but I'll be able to uh, use said... Why is there fire everywhere? You guys are insane. Oh, those are glowy crystals, aren't they? Uh, if I find the shrine, I can teleport here. So even if this entire thing was a terrible idea, I can still get back up here without having to redo the trip. Making this trip technically a little worth it. This is my happy shrine dance of happy shrining. And now I'll be wet for a little while, which will, which will make me not dead for a little while. Which is like my favorite thing to be, is specifically not dead for a while. Look how dedicated he looks. Is that a look that says we're not going to lose the footage of this recording this time? Unlike last time? I sure hope so. I think this is a memorable, stupid sequence I'm doing right now, and it'd be really unfortunate to never look like, to show anyone how stupid I'm being right now. I bet that thing shot at me with the fire. Somewhere around here there's a shrine. This way. Apparently. Okay. Well, go around cities that way. Don't know where you're hiding that shrine. I'll probably be able to find it before long if I try to find it. I'll just mark this as in a vague territory. There's a shrine- there's a star near here. Woo! Gotta go. Oh god. Okay, well that was the wrong way to go, so I figured I might as well go back in the water. This is the path over here. Gotta follow this. Ah! Uh. Wait, am I supposed to ride this or something? Ride me! Maybe. Please don't burn me to death with your murdery burning powers of being on fire. Bye! Oh, a shrine. Maybe that's the shrine. It's Divine Beast Hurgledy Burgledy. I think you might have been shooting rocks at me earlier. Is that the correct way up the town? I guess the path would take you up here and there's a- that's the front entrance at least down there. I think the shrine I saw in the distance is probably the one I'm supposed to actually use. Ow. Okay, I'm just gonna go down. Bye, hello town. Someone be a merchant, please. 
Help. Help, I'm burning to death in your town. Well, looky here. Welcome, Master Link. How'd you know? What do you mean? More importantly, I hope you made it past all those magma bombs without an injury. <laughs> I'm talking to someone who's on fire. To be honest, we haven't had too many visitors here since those magma bombs started falling from the sky. I'd be bored to tears if I didn't pass the time pretending to be to greet the long lost Hylian champion. <laughs> oh, in case you don't know, Link is the old Hylian who fought alongside the Goron champion Daruk. If you want to hear more, talk to the boss. He lives further in town. Just keep eating and so you don't die along the way. Oh my god, who sells clothes in this town? Hello. Hello, merchants. I love you. Which one is it? You sell food items? Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Is that flame retardant? Is that flame retardant potion? Goron spice. Oh. Well, that's not good news. Help me not be dead, please. I'm really trying to not die right now. Oh, there I go dying again. Okay. Maybe if I sleep in the inn. That's a secret. If I sleep in the inn. There we go. That's 20 rupees. Oh, what if I do a bed with a massage? Yeah. I'll do it until morning. There we go. That'll restore my health. All I gotta do is sleep in the lo in the lava volcano town. Yeah. Got you covered, buddy. <laughs> He's gonna give me a massage. <laughs> yeah, Link sounds relaxed. Sounds like a good time. He doesn't sound like he's in horrible pain or anything. So you restore my health? Yay! Look, I'm all better now, and we can almost ignore the fact that I'm on fire. How was the massage? Amazing, right? Take care, brother. How are you not dying? I guess you're from the desert. Zavota. A bit early to flirt, isn't it? That's not what I... Oh, that's too bad. Who are you? I'm Ramella. As you can see, I'm from the Gruta region and not on fire. I came here for the jewels that are to be found in the Goron City. Mm. These days, those magma bombs are causing trouble and preventing me from working. I'm not too happy about it. What is it? Have you ever seen a real Garuda before? Aren't you hot? Oh, well, I... I slathered fireproof elixir on my skin, so I'll be fine. If you want to buy fireproof elixirs, a little Goron brat is selling them. I suggest you buy, buy, buy one and use it. I'd pay anything and save myself from this wretched heat. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, clothing. Ow. Flame guard. I'll pay anything. Thank you. Hey, you. You're gonna get burned up if you go outside like that. Hurry up and change your clothes. Good idea. Am I alive? Ha. <sighs> I'm not currently dying. Flame guard, 600. 2,000! Oh, well. Yeah. Let's sell some stuff. You have the privilege of standing in my ripped and shredded... Uh, you have the privilege of standing in ripped and shredded my armor shop. How can I help you? I want to sell. I need to be able to afford the rest of the set. I probably don't need to, but I would like to. And that's almost as good as needing it. That's a lot of Lizalfos horns I have. Let's sell, like, 30 of them. Okie dokie. A lot of, lot of Lizalfos talent I have. I, I, don't I don't think I can even find a use for this, sh this sheer, sheer quantity of items. The ones that are well over a hundred, I'm like, that can't be usable, can it? Ooh. Are we doing on everything else? 88 Moblin Fangs is a lot. No one ever, They never want the, uh, the fangs for the upgrades, they just want the guts and stuff. How are we doing elsewhere? That's a lot of amber. Ooh. There we go. That should be enough for now. Aww. Give me your clothes. Ah. Oh. Ha! 
<laughs> we did it. All right, Flamebreaker armor. Armor crafted by Gorons for Hylians curious enough to visit Goron City. It's made from fire-resistant rocks to protect their wearer. Goron artisans use flame-resistant rocks to craft these fireproof boots for curious Hylians visiting Goron City. Stone headgear made by Goron craftsmanship. Same thing. As if it's flame-resistant isn't enough of a selling point, it also covers your entire head. And it makes me not dead, which is the best part, is how not dead I currently am. All right. Ah, huh. we got it, got it. I look ridiculous, it's fine. All right, well, mystery solved. Was there a better way to do this? Probably, probably should have crafted, for example, a fire resistant uh, piece. Let's see, how close is that? I'm gonna undo that one. It's likely the one that I'm getting pinged for right now, which I think was over there or something, so that's fine. This one I know where it is, we'll get to that later. Cause I think that was a secret little quest. So here we go. I have now arrived in Goron City. I kind of sprinted here while dying and chomping on food, because instead of making a heat-resistant elixir or buying one, I just ate through it, which really wasn't that bad, because I just went through a few meat skewers and that was it, so we're good. And now I'm ready to explore this place and get new shrines and a new guardian beast. Hooray! I did it. <laughs> I did it the stupid way. I did it my way. <laughs> And now I don't exist, because cameras. See you later. <laughs>